<laughs> they were so quick. <laughs> I had 11 pupa here from a, we had a Cromogis queen die. And she had 11 pupa. And I put them on a little chip and offered them to this colony. And by the time I got my camera, <laughs> they were half gone. So they're coming out and getting them all. And what we'll do is we'll just do the pupa so it doesn't stress the colony as far as feeding a bunch of larvae. We'll let the old colony feed them till they're prepa and then uh, about once a week or so check and pull out the current pupa and give them to this colony because this colony is pretty small. Uh, they've only got I think 13 workers or something so um, they're pretty small. They won't be able to feed a ton of larvae. Um, but they can certainly let pupa close, so we will give them the pupa. And, uh, yeah, you can keep looking, girl. They're gone. You got them all. Good girl. And then next week we'll put some more in, and next week we'll put some more in. Um, so, you know, there is a second life for queens die and colonies die. Um, and we just try to recycle what we can, so all the brood will go here, and then we will overwinter that colony. And next spring we will uh, give them a chance to... Uh, join this colony. And uh, a year without a queen, those workers may may well join this colony that's been successful before. So sorry we didn't get the whole thing on video, but she was fast. <laughs>